Hello, welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, I'm just taking a short drive with my wife up Spanish Fork Canyon. So, this canyon, unfortunately, mostly private property, so there's not a whole lot of place to rock hound, but we do have a little window here. This is Skyline Drive right here. And then if you look over this way, we have Starvation Road. So this hill between these two public roads is one of the few public areas in this canyon. All right, welcome. So we just uh, came a little ways up the uh, road up Starvation, Can Starvation Canyon or Starvation Road. And that's where we came from. So that's the highway over there. We just drove up the way. So here's the hill up back here behind me. So the hill uh, has fossils kind of all through it. Um, we're gonna just kind of start right here. We'll see what we find here close by. We might go back to the beginning or we might go up the road a little ways. We're gonna search around. So what we're looking for here. So this is Cretaceous time period, very shallow ocean. So we're gonna see a lot of fossils, in particular oysters and clams and small seashells. They're all over the place. What we're hoping to do is find maybe more unusual things. Being near the shoreline, you can also find bird tracks in these layers. You can also find occasionally some petrified palm wood. I've only ever found one piece up here, so maybe we'll get lucky again. I've been walking up the wash a little distance and here we have a nice little block that you can see has seashells all through it. Right now I'm a little further up from where I was and sure enough here's some of the layers where the shells are coming out of. Most of the oyster shells. You can see one right there. A little oyster shell. Or a piece of one. Most of them are really broken. And most of the oyster shells and clam shells you'll see up here are going to be broken. So I most likely won't keep those unless I find a really nice one but I am looking for the, the seashells the coiled seashells which in geology is known as a gastropod those usually tend to survive better and they look cool so those are the ones I'll be keeping most likely these are not the shells we're looking for Dang snail shells. Went west a little ways, didn't really find much. Came back east, went up a little bit, and finally found the layer I was trying to get to. So if we take a quick look here, right there in the soil, you'll see gastropods, seashell fossils. That's what I was looking for. The main layer it's coming out of right here. Um, it's kind of an area from here down probably below me. But you can see, if you look closely at the rock, there's an oyster in there. There's a coiled shell right there. A spiral shell. One right there. And it's all coming out of here. Probably, this is where it's thicker right here. This, this part right under here is where it's got a lot of shells. There's a seashell right there. All these gastropods. So I might sit down and kind of dig a little bit out just to see uh, if we can find some nice stuff in those layers. So I just pulled a piece out and it's got a good sized one right there, bigger than what we've been seeing. So I decided to come up the hill a little way. And I was thinking maybe if I come up further, the shells maybe won't be as crushed. And sure enough, I'm getting better ones. Ones that haven't been damaged as badly. See, that one's kind of nice. There's one right there. Look at that nice one just sticking out right there. Look how nice that one is. Came out beautifully and it's still perched on the rock in a very beautiful way. <laughs> that is a nice 
specimen. <laughs> Look at that one poking out right there. That looks like the biggest one we've found so far. Let's see if I can get that on one piece. Okay, looks like we've removed enough rock to get it out. Oh, that's lovely. It's a beautiful one. Definitely the biggest one of the day. So I'm back down off the hill and that was that's the hill I was up on right right about here yeah right about there so just in case anybody comes this way so there's Spanish Fork Canyon Road right there you can hear cars occasionally on it but what you're seeing right up here that's the railroad track and the road itself is right underneath it right there so if you come in you drive, the entrance is right there. Remember, this is Starvation Road. You come down, you go around that first little hump, and then you come around this one right here, and then it's just right up there. All right, made it back from Rock Hounding, washed everything off, so let's take a look. Right here, we have some larger ones that had some, just a whole bunch of shells on them. Just tons of shells, we've got a bunch like that. I did manage to get an oyster shell that was, I mean, they're all crushed, but this one mostly stayed intact. Got a lot of small seashells here. Some nice ones too, like this. Right here, got a nice big one right here. That was the big one we pulled out. Some other good sized ones as well, right through here. And then the two that I liked the most, this one, stayed on and it just looks so nice like that and this one right here look at those really nice <laughs> hopefully they stay on yeah those were the finds pretty good day